It looks like that Portugal pottery. It's not marked. Okay, this is one of those. Is it a $20 bill? Ooh, Danny's got a decision to bake. Watch me. I'm gonna put it back. Hello, it is another Goodwill day. And you know, I started out this morning kind of going, you know what, I have to go shopping today. And then I checked myself and I said, holy moly, <clears throat> how incredibly blessed am I that I get to go shopping for a living. Like this is what I get to do. You know, it's just, sometimes it is just flipping a switch in your brain and changing the outlook of something. Because I think it's really, really easy to get into that mode where we grumble. I, I'm, I do it. I do it. And um, so yeah, just flip that switch and try to find the positive aspect of whatever it is in your life. So not, not all of you that are resellers are getting to go and just be resellers. You're still working a job and that job might, oh, let's face it, it might kind of suck. Um, but try to find what it was that attracted you to that job in the first place. What was it that excited you? What aspect of that job do you really love? Because there must be something. You got to find the silver lining in whatever it is. So that's enough of my little soapbox this morning. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to try to stay true to my $20 bill. I've been doing pretty good the last few shopping trips. So I'm going to stick with it. Uh, because I've just got a lot going on with getting ready for this vintage market, which is happening next weekend. It's our first weekend. Oh, I haven't made that very clear. Um, me and Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas are opening a space in this. It's at the Fantastic Indoor Swap Meet on Decatur Boulevard. And the third weekend of every month, they have a section called Vintage Market Days. And so we have a space there so that we can be there. And if you're going to be in Vegas or you are in Vegas, you can come by and say hi. And so we have this planned place for you to come and say hi and yeah shop for some goodies because we are stocking it full of a lot of the things that you see us buy in the videos so i hope that if you are in the area you will come by and you will say hi to us and uh, that is going to be the third weekend of every month friday saturday sunday at the fantastic indoor swap meet come look for us okay so with that i'm getting in there i'm gonna go shopping i'm gonna look for those 20 dollars bills so let's go Right, let's get us a lucky cart. Kind of scoping out the furniture first to see if there's anything we can use down at the market. Because <clears throat> this is where I got a lot of really cool shelves. But nothing today, but I did see this. I do like, I know it's modern, but it's like a modern reproduction lamp. Kind of like that. Nope, I'm not gonna get it. I just, I don't have time to deal with something like that today. So, let's see. Oh, you can see the hand is a little, got some issues. Otherwise, that's a really cute clock. We're looking for green tags today. Green is our color for the 50% off. Sure, kind of cute. I wonder who makes those. Da, 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 da. I don't know. They're super cute. I do like them. I don't know. I'm like I'm drawn to these. Anyway, look at the plug. I don't know how old they are, and I don't know how much they're priced. Oh, there we go. Five ninety nine. Those are cute, but I'm gonna pass them just because they're an unknown, and I don't need them kind of starting back here in the metals today because I went to the furniture first. So why not start back here? And I find a toil. 
Toll. <laughs> See, I'm thinking of something else already in my brain. Toll, T-O-L-E, painted tray. It's got a little bit of damage, but you'd expect that in an antique piece. And look, it's $1.99. So I think some of this will clean up okay. The flowers themselves are really nice. Get out of the shadow there and try not to glare you, but I like this tray. I'm gonna pick it up. I like this piece until I saw it kind of came from Ross. I mean, nothing wrong with Ross, but it's just not high end, and therefore, it's not my $20 bill. It's a cute little, cute little coffee trivet with two little hooks. But again, not quite what I'm looking for today. And we got a cart of stuff I gotta go check out. All right, here's some more of these like soup bowl things that Rachel loves. You know what, there's those chicken bowls again. They must have come from like one of the discount stores because I'm seeing them a lot now. I'm trying to see this guy who's only $3.99. Let me move a few things around so I can get to it without Trying, I'm really I'm looking for any damage. I don't see any damage on him. It is oh goodness, I can't read it. It reminds me of like that Portugal pottery, or maybe even Italy. But for $3.99, we're gonna grab that. So they had just brought out these little Scotty Dog mugs, and because there's a pair of them. Um, I'm gonna get them. They're 99 cents each and I'm going to sell them as a pair All right, look at this beauty $1.99 I'm looking for something wrong with it. Hold on. That might be a crack. Let me see No, no, it's not it's just a little blemish under the glaze and it is on the back side and our little cardinals on the front side are in good shape, so we're gonna grab that for $1.99. All right, these caught my eye. What does that say on it? That says, uh, De Serrano, De Serrano. You know, I think that's the same brand. Um, I think, actually, it's a, I think it's a liquor manufacturer and their glasses do really well. These are $1.49 each and there's four of them. I am gonna grab those. I like this picture with the ice lip on it. Um, I don't think it's that old. I just like it. <laughs> and it's interesting, but it's, it's not my $20. So there we go. We're gonna keep moving along. This is Mikasa, and it's always boggled my brain that this is not worth more because it's just so beautiful. It's $3.99, which is a great price for somebody to pick this up at Goodwill, but it's not going to be me today. But I do love giving it an honorable mention because it's a really, really beautiful pattern. But on eBay, it just doesn't do very well. Looking at this cookie jar, it's, it's $5.99. It's made by province designed by Apple C something I don't know I don't does it it's not that eye appealing and it's got a chip so we'll be leaving that one behind always find so so many of these little dessert snack dishes of course these would have had mugs along somewhere they just they just don't do well and this kind of has a Francoma look, but it's not, because I can pick it up and feel it and go, this is not Francoma. I can tell by the weight and uh, just the coloring. So that's why it's important to pick this stuff up and learn what's the real stuff and what's not. Nice punch set. Oh, is that Temptations? <gasps> yes, yes it is for $4.99. So this is like an underplate. It would have gone probably with another dish. So a lot of times you can just look at these numbers on the back here. Go do a search for that number and go see what pops up that shows you what would have gone with this piece. And um, people do buy the replacement pieces. 
so I am going to pick this up because I deal with a lot of temptations. I just realized how funny that sounded, that I deal with a lot of temptations. Lordy, don't we all? Oh, now, let's see, talk about temptations right there. Um, only this is not the bakeware kind of brand. This is just a beautiful betta fish plate from Ikea that I can't resist. <laughs> I don't know what it's worth, but to me, it's worth that $2.99 for sure. So we will be picking this up. All right, we're over in the dishes and I spot these lusterware. I don't often see lusterware dinner plates. They are not marked, at least that one's not marked. Very interesting. Um, and they price so well here. One, two, three, five, six. There's seven plates for $9.99. I'm not picking these up, but I bet that's a really, really good price for um, someone who does like to deal in the dishes. And then they've got this pattern, which is Hira Fine China Japan Ridgewood. So everything you need to look these up is right there on the back of these dishes. And they've got several pieces, like especially serving pieces. Like this might even be like a small serving piece. Serving pieces are usually where your money's at on a set of dishes. But if you like to do replacement dishes, then I'm telling you, the Goodwill is the place to be to find those dishes. It's just not my thing. Oh, these are my plates. These are my plates. Okay, those are for me because those are my plates and my kids have already broken some, so I'm very happy. Always makes me happy to replace some of my own plates. It's a souvenir from Missouri. Let's see what else we got. This is kind of interesting. It looks like that Portugal pottery. It's not marked. Okay, this is one of those. Is it a $20 bill? Ooh, Danny's got a decision to bake. Watch me. I'm going to put it back. Look at that. These are rooster dishes by Henrietta. Rachel loves to pick up the rooster dishes, but I am gonna leave them behind. I'm gonna look at this, but I'm also gonna leave this behind because I know it's not a $20 bill, but their prices are fantastic. So depending what your profit threshold is, you know, some people have more time to maybe even do like $10 profits and those can add up too. Oh, this was a project. How cute is that? That's a peacock plate. Um, but I just don't have time to mess with the lower end stuff. Doesn't mean that you can't. All right, let's check out the glasses. I kinda like these frosted dessert glasses. But, I am not getting them. Now, I can't remember because it's been too long since I've been over to that aisle, but I wonder if these go with those little sets over there. I suspect they might. I suspect they might. Oh, I see something down here. Oh no, you know what? I saw these last time. If they didn't have that specific logo on them, I would grab those, but they got that specific logo, so. I will be leaving those. All right, no glasses today. All right, we're gonna scan the mugs real quick here. But I'm really, really not looking for any more mugs right now unless they're special, like a Sandra Boynton cat mug for 99 cents. Yeah, God, it needs so much work, you know what? I am, I'm gonna leave it behind because it needs all that work. I know, it's barkeeper secret and you can get that clip. I just don't have time. I will leave that for somebody who has the time and wants to make a little money. All right, no mugs today. All right, we are now in the vases to see. Okay, here's another one of these. I always forget what they're called. It's some special coffee thing. And this one's only $1.99, and I know these things are super expensive. I bought one new in the package before, so I will pick this one up for $1.99 as well. 
All right. So that's weird. You can tell that it was like applied over a wood vase kind of thing. Would have been neat if it wasn't broken. I mean, we could say that about a lot of things, right? I don't think these bottles are old. I'm kind of, I was checking them out. I think they're made to look old. They just don't have a, I don't know though. What, am I missing something here? Are these old bottles? Am I gonna regret leaving these behind? Yeah, no regrets. I'm gonna leave them for somebody who knows bottles a little better than I do. But I am gonna look at this. Cute little vase for $2.99. Uh, oh, see, it's a dilemma. It's a dilemma, but I think I'm gonna leave it, especially since it has, it's not a chip, it's a defect in the top, which tells me it's not real high quality. So there I go. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. And I'm gonna look at the Hawaii, but it's a 2009. It's not super old. So we're gonna leave that too. Ooh, look at me leave stuff behind. <laughs> and then we're gonna look at this candle holder. It's a Madonna and Child, $2.99. But look, it's got like a barcode on the bottom. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that one too. I am gonna leave that one too. This, um, if you could feel it, it's really, really super lightweight, low quality. This is kind of nice, but it's an FTD. So I'll leave that too and go see what's over there. If you've been watching me any amount of time, you know I'm a sucker for fake fruit, especially when there's unusual pieces like, you know, apples and grapes, they're pretty common, but bananas and pomegranates are not common. So I'm gonna pick these up. Now this one's $4.99. And there's quite a few pieces in there. And then this one is $2.99. So all in all, this is this is a good buy for fake fruit. And then this caught my eye. Ooh, these are beaded acorns. And then a beaded, like beaded beaded orange for $2.99. I'm going to grab those. Okay. This shelf caught my eye here. Oh, they're on, they're linen. It looks like a little project and then they're stamped. Are they cork underneath there? Oh, these are interesting. I just don't quite know. I mean, it kind of feels like a cork board underneath, but I wish I knew for sure. Hmm. These are really sweet. I feel like I can do something with these. And I'm kind of like an all or nothing. I'm like either all in or leave them behind when it's like this, because if they're good, then I got multi-quantity. Uh, oh, yeah, they are. They're little bulletin boards. There it is. They're ma hanging or magnets. Okay, and I know there were only seven, but I love quantity. I love quantity. I'm grabbing all of these. I got them all. I haven't even counted them up yet. I'm going to have to count them up before I do the recap. I'll let you know how many I got and what the total is. These will go down to the vintage market because these are such an easy sell down there um, and easy to display and keep. So uh, this is a score. I see something that says Chihuahua on here. El Paso Chihuahuas. Oh, that must be a team. Must be a team in Texas. I am guessing. And I see a moose. I see a moose. Kind of, I don't know if he's carved or, it's not, it's not very fancy, so we will leave that. This cutting board would be really good if it wasn't so messed up. But unfortunately, it's been well, well loved on both sides even, so that will have to stay. Oh, let's see. Let's see, oh, we got letters. We got letters, what are our letters gonna spell today? Mav. 
Mavi. Here, we'll add the Mavid. Mavid or Vavid, whatever you wanted to say. I hope everyone watching this is feeling this. Interesting then that I run into this quote. Take time to balance your life. The minute you begin to do what you really want to do, it's really a different kind of life. Oh, yes. All right, you know what time it is. It is time for the Christmas. I'm looking for vintage, like this little guy. <gasps> that, they've got Joseph original eyes. I don't see a mark, but you know, the quality shows in the eyes. Yes, I'm picking this up for $2.99. This guy's awful cute too. He's a candle though. It's made by Colonial Candle Japan. So he's vintage, but he's not as appealing to me as the hugging Mr. and Mrs. Santa. That's a 1990 Hallmark. Yeah, this guy says made in Taiwan on that sticker. I peeled it a little bit to find out what that said. Ooh, I did not do that. That was already like that. Poor little Mrs. Claus. She went with Mr. Claus here. Also looks vintagey. Again, look at the quality in the eyes on these guys. You know what? I'm going to pick him up for 99 cents. Yes, I am. <sighs> then I spot this guy. He's like a gnome Santa. He's very odd, and he is signed on the bottom, Roy Berg. Roy Berg from Sweden. Rol Rolf, Rolf Berg from Sweden. Uh, so, for $3.99, I am gonna pick him up too. All right, let's see what else is hiding here on the Christmas shelf that I can resist. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, I can resist. I can resist. I'm doing a good job. I think I'm doing a good job. What do you think? What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Like, Danny, you're crazy or... Yep, Danny, you're doing better. Because if you watch my videos, then you can watch my progression and know if I'm actually doing better. Looks like that would have been a Yankee, yeah, Yankee Candle Company tin from 2020. Hmm. A little more Christmas, and then we're off to my favorite, favorite row. This is my glassy baby hunt aisle. It's the most likely place to find it, but yes, I know. I look everywhere, but this is the most likely place to find glassy baby if it's gonna be here because it does look like a candle holder and this is where they put the candle holders it's also the row where they put just like all the you know the tchotchke stuff so we're looking 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 and nothing here today okay this little guy is intriguing he's carved from wood and put on a little piece of marble he's really tiny look look there's my finger He's $1.49, and you know what? If he's not worth $20, then I will give him away in one of my live sales. Let me clear back here. Let's see. Just making sure these are not Mackenzie Child. Yeah, they're not. They are Papel giftware. But I had to peek. Had to make sure. Ooh, that looks like a Wedgwood. In the style of Wedgwood, anyway. But still not... Not high-end enough for me today. She's kind of interesting. Yeah, you know what though? I just, I don't know. She just, she just doesn't grab me. I'm gonna leave her. Just looking for a little bit better stuff today. Oh, I know. I know I say that and then I'm going to the cheap little Bella Casa. Oh no, I'm gonna leave it because it's got a chip, but I would be totally tempted by that because it's just so cute. See, these are the shelves that get me with the cuteness, but $3.99 a piece on the little ducks is like a no for sure. Yeah. 
we can we can resist but then <gasps> look at this guy it's it's mr rabbit oh he's broken though he was a tape dispenser dang i would have totally picked up mr rabbit at the typewriter that's a bummer all right cute little plates cute little july guy oh he's heavy like nancy thomas he's cute but, all right move over here some clear stuff audrey hepburn more clear stuff i don't see anything i can't live without so we have completed the tchotchke shelves I came back here just to do my another pass through and I just thought this was really interesting. It's just, a, I think it's like a, but it's got, I spit the words out, Danny. It's like a steamer, I think, or I don't know if that's just the lid. No, there's a lid on, I don't even understand this, but it's got asparagus. See, that's, <laughs> that's what got me is the asparagus. But I don't see any marks or anything, and it doesn't feel really high quality, but that just, that kind of caught my eye. And it's 10 bucks, so I'm not gonna get it, but super intrigued by that with the little asparagus. All right, we need to go ahead to check out because I have a live sale today. So I need to get home and get ready for that. And the line's not bad right now. So off we go. And be sure you stay for the recap to know everything I bought and how much it's worth. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, I gotta get round one out to my car and then come back in for all the stuff. They didn't have boxes or paper, but I happen to still have everything in my car from yesterday stocking up at the booth. So I'm in luck. I actually have bubble wrap and boxes and everything. So whoo, it's been a good day. All right, I'll give you a recap in just a moment. All right, I got it all in here. I also bought I also bought, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a little organizing rolling cart thing with all these multicolored drawers. They're shallow drawers. They're made for like, you know, paper goods, but they're gonna be awesome for organizing the jewelry sales that I do. So when it's ready to go out to the shipping, everybody can have a drawer. Um, maybe not, yeah, pretty much almost everybody can have a drawer. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I spent just a little over a hundred bucks and I got just alone. Well, you've seen the recap. I got 20, no, I got more than 27. I got like 40 of those little bulletin board things. And 
let's just say I get eight bucks a piece down at the market. That's eight times 40 is, you're making me do math, $320 right there, not even counting anything else that I bought. I love this game. <laughs> That's what it feels like sometimes. It just feels like a big chess game of strategy and like just doing the right things. So, gotta get home. I got an hour to get ready for my live sale that is happening today at 1 p.m. Of course, it happened yesterday for you, so I hope you are subscribed and have the bell notification set up so you know when I go live with those sales. And if you don't, what are you waiting for? Go hit those buttons. Um, I do that every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific time, uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, as well as going live on Mondays at 1 p.m. So I hope to see you in my live chat on one of these Mondays or Fridays or both. Come join me, say hi. And now I'm gonna skedaddle. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.